Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yannin Man bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. Today we have the pleasure of a 2v2 on Star Traffic, actually a rematch of the previous game. This here starting off at the top is O Viking as the Purple Federation and his teammate for this match. As the Orange Federation is Cam K. These two beat up on those last two guys. Sorry if you didn't watch it already, but, you know, spoiler alert. Um, and those two guys, in this case, are Tigger as the White Romulans today, and Funny Stuff as the Blue Klingons. We'll see what these guys do to each other as now that they are into the rematch. So we have two Federations versus two Cloakers. The Romulans... I would say should go Laval's here and it does look like they could be going Laval's sooner or later uh, sh but you don't see the uh, research institute you can see the feds over here doing the stand the nice uh, Starfleet engineering really you can do exactly what they are doing you put Starfleet engineering out immediately and by the time that it is done and done researching uh, you can just finish up your star yard, which is what's happening there. I expect something similar over here. Yep. They're going to throw up that chassis level 1, and it'll be done roughly about the time uh, the star yard is done. So, Federation are going probably intrepids, probably lots of intrepids, um, versus these guys. These Reans will be. We'll see how well those work. So they are quick, fast, and uh, long range. Uh, but the question is whether or not they can get enough of them in time. So down here you see funny stuff sporting a few Quebecs. And uh, let's see if he goes Katinga Rush. Now, he managed to do a Katinga Rush, uh, a very weak Katinga Rush the last game, uh, and it actually did it to decent effect, met netting him, uh, I think, a couple of kills, and that can be worth it. Um, we'll, we'll see if that's how he plays. Don't... One, two, three, four... I do see an extra Miners in his queue, so he may be prepping for that Katinga Rush, or he just uh, prepping for his expansion. So the funny has the option of, I was just about to say going into the battle yard, but it looks like he doesn't want to do it there, oddly enough. Um, maybe he's going to move up into this area. And that makes a lot more sense. This, as a strategy for Funny, is going to be a good job if he can put his battle yard right here. He basically protects, he grabs himself an expansion. It's a better move strategically because it's out in the middle and allows you um, faster access to more parts of the board as opposed to, say, expanding over here. I really do think that players that take this expansion are in a better position. Um... So, oddly enough, though, I was wrong, and right at the same time, he is going into the battle yard right around here, and he is going into a Katinga rush for uh, where is he going? Heck, if I know, I, I he could come up in here. Uh, going to run into a lot of intrepids. These intrepids are great against the Klingon ships that are on the board at the moment. Um, let's take a look over here see what's on this guy. We do see that the Romulans have managed to scout out the Federations. Federations are doing monsoons, so nice little... Uh, once they saw that they were facing Rians, the monsoons are an excellent counter. Those high-density shield generators, generators doing heck of a great counter against the uh, long-range Rians. So... Viking responding to his opponent. So here comes that very minor Katinga rush right in on O Viking, and this is actually going to work in their favor as the monsoons 
don't do uh, particularly well against the medium range uh, because well that's just not where their passive is. You see the Rians have been, have toggled their special and they are using that to distract them. Um, at this point, uh, Tigger here needs to run and get out of here because he's basically wasted a lot of fire on something that he wasn't going to kill and he is now just going to get phaser turreted. So let's see if his partner over here is going to be able to make a bigger dent. Managed to pull some guys off of the mining. Are they going to get it? Oh, that constructor goes in, takes the uh, mining slot from them, and so they get a kill. Alright, so. The Klingons have managed to do a decent little bitty raid. Yeah, decent enough that they didn't lose anything, and they got some kills. Battle Yard, another Battle Yard. So, um, the Fed's not taking this uh, incursion lightly. Cam K is going to make him pay for this as this little sucker tries to make it into this green nebula, try to give himself a little bit of shields, try to just weather the storm, if you will. Here comes a Katinga. And here comes the rest of the fleet. Let's see if this yard's going to be up in time. This guy needs to peel off. Funny needs to, go, needs to do an excellent job of micro here. But he's just not... He's going to end up giving these uh, Federation ships some free experience. And down goes a ship. I think that was kind of a needless loss on Funny. But... Um, all in all, okay in the end. He needs to peel off this Katinga. So one of the things going on here, the reason, uh, of course, the Katinga is taking so much fire is because it is the weaker vessel. So in the meantime, the Purple Feds are going to do a good job of trying to reinforce that attack. But here comes the Romulans countering the counter Pulling out some Lavals. These Lavals will do excellent against the Monsoon. They are fast. They are short range, so the high density don't do any good for them. And they just need to be put on high movement autonomy. This is the one thing that I see a lot of players, an area that they can improve. One of the easiest things that you can do is when a ship is fleeing, put just hit the kill button, which literally is hit the shortcut cut key K and that will attack the com what the computer thinks is the best target and if a ship is really low on health that is the uh, best target and the computer will do an excellent job and it will follow and it won't have this lurch bug that uh, you have to like click ahead it's a great way to save yourself some micro so this middle of the board being heavily contested double warp in um, monsoon taking a lot of damage let's see is the can't tell if friendly repair is on the board. This Quebec class taking a lot of fire. Unfortunately, is it going to get out? Mm, yes! Fortunately for the Klingons there, it's able to get out, but it's in the wrong place to go repair. The Fed's doing not a great... Okay, this is going to end up repairing here. It's going to decloak. It's going to be... Uh... Wow, okay, so taking stock of what's going on here, the feds are putting a lot of pressure on here, wasting, however, a ton of fire on this one little uh, ship that is sitting there repaired, and that is giving these Klingons and Rhymelands all the time in the world to burn these ships down. These Lavals should finish off this Excelsior. They are short range, they just need to get in and kill it. Get those kills. Got to get those kills. Got to get those kills. This guy's got repair. It, could, it can weather the storm from this these torpedoes. Um, down goes a Katinga. This, even this constructor pulling out a little bit of fire, if it would. There it goes. Here comes a Vorcha. Oh, nice little counter against the Intrepids because of the ablative armor. Good move on uh, Funny Stuff's part, if you can get one of those out. You do see that Allied Repair is there. Excellent choice. Uh, good teamwork there on his part. 
And slowly, these guys are, um, through cycling the repair, trying to push these guys off. They are slowly getting it off. The, um... Down goes an Intrepid here very, very shortly. Can they get that kill? Need to get the kill, and they do. Uh, here comes a Monsoon. Monsoon's got its specials. Getting, trying to take out that Quebec. Oh, and one of the things you want to watch out for is um, when you're using the Monsoon special, I a lot of times people will mistakenly, in my opinion, mistakenly put it on high weapons autonomy. It's, it's easier, yes, less micro for you, but... Uh, the thing that you want is to get the, you want to get them down to that 10% or that 5% and then you use a special on it and you get that sudden burst of DPS there at the end that takes them all the way over. Wow, this is the never ending battle. Um, the feds not able to completely get a toehold but the Rymlin's in the Klingons, just not able to get it all the way done. And somehow, I think the Klingons and the Rymlin's are the ones who are getting the greater win here. You can see that they're getting rank ups. Um, they're doing some good micro here, getting the kills. You see some higher rank ships. It's, um, it's a little bit up in the air as who is winning this one. The, these Lavals, they are going to go after the Nebula. Uh, not a bad choice, the Torpedo Nebula. The one thing about attacking warp ends is you can wail on the Federation supply, uh, which is a fun thing to do. And you can see that they have managed to... Oh, oddly enough, they're not going after that one. It's probably a good one. Here is an offensive warping. Where's this guy going to land? He is going to go all the way over here. So the feds are going to counterattack on the backside of Tigger's base. Now this is a smart move by the feds here. They are, they noticed that they were losing initiative there. So they're going to turn around and take the initiative somewhere else. Tigger doing a good job of uh, responding to that, taking his miners immediately off, saving what he can. Smart move. Um, you can see he's got an expansion, so it's all good there. Do I see a second warp in? Yes, double warp in. Ooh, and a little Rhode Island there. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tough on the Romans. Get double teamed on their main, but manages to get out while he can. Now, if the feds... Let's see, this is going to pull the Klingons and the Romulans all the way back across the map. This is an excellent move, um, excellent move by the Fed teams here, the top purple and the orange. And they are just beating on everything that they can. They're going to try to take out this Star Yard. If they can get that Star Yard, that would do wonders. You see the Rhode Island special going out. Uh, I'm sorry, that should be a Nova. Yep. So, they are going to manage to take out the Star Yard. This is going to be nasty for them. Let's see what do this, what does this fleet do here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if all of these guys go repair, the Romans and the Klingons could decloak and take out the backside of these guys. There is no allied repair in this, so it is a bit of the Federation's uh, initiative. Oh, okay, so if they want to... See, you see how these guys are... Oh, they are going after the Monsoons. I actually think they should have gone after... Um, oh, wow. A, uh, a Vorcha taking a ton of fire immediately The and taking it... getting taken down... Um, these guys got split. This one, uh, Laval getting lucky, taking a lot of fire with it. These guys trying to get those monsoon kills, just not getting it. I think they should go after, they should have gone after that San Francisco. Uh, however, they have managed to let the Federations get back in. They are not focusing fire, and that is causing a lot of damage to go walk away as uh, a repairing ship. They, the Klingons and the Romulans need to get a little bit better coordinated here. You can see that uh, funny warping, uh, cloaking out. 
it's the teamwork here is really hurting the cloaking race. Well, I mean, you know, you got two feds. I mean, of course they're buddy buddy. Romulans and Klingons were never really that close of friends. Um, Tigger here just getting all spread out. The Federation recovering from that. <sighs> that is now putting things right back in the federal favor. Let's see what is coming out. Funny is about to have a more company, and he is going to have a nasty federal right in his base. You can see the Katingas coming out, running away. Uh, smooth move on their part if they can get out. Um, in this case, are they going to get a kill? No, that Monsoon gets away. Uh, it's almost like I want to see the underdog. These Lavals almost could just stand back here and take um, anything that got damaged and take it out. But as it is, all of these guys are... Uh, all the feds are doing a good job of concentrating their fire together. Uh, and let's see if these uh, these guys can get into the repair yard. He's going to get into the repair yard. It's going to be all. It's going to be that first battle from earlier all over again. Oh, another warp in. They are going to get that galaxy kill. Getting the galaxy kill. At least they're getting the kills. Uh, you can see that the supply on that fed there is really dwindling pretty low. Uh, those torpedoes banging on that uh, this uh, Vorcha class, but uh, not the not the primary choice. Oh, and another warp in! Wow, hello, the double double warp in just pounding on this place. At this point, it is time to retreat if the Klingons can muster the courage to do so. They need to get out now. They need to get out now. This ablative armor doing nothing for these long-range ships. Uh, they're taking out little monsoons here and there. But Funnies just getting a little bit out of position, getting too much fire, can't cycle through the repair yard. The Feds have got this. If they can just manage to stay on the outside, take out everything around it, uh, maybe draw in the Klingon ships out away from the yard. You can see this one guy getting to cloak out, and he's going to take some fire with him, get that all repaired. Laval getting some nice ranks here. This Cavort repair, allowing it to soak up a ton of damage. Uh, folks, there's one thing you need to worry about is don't, don't fight the f uh, repairing ship. You can see how much <laughs> that is just doing nothing to it. So in the meantime, you can see the numbers here have really stacked in the Fed's favor. And uh, Funny just doesn't have enough ships to fight two versus one. This one for Cha, is it going to get out? He cloaks out. Question is, is he going to repair? He gets in there just in the nick of time. Gets a little bit of shields up. This guy, as they... <laughs> and there is effectively the GG. The, the feds just pounding warp in after warp in after warp in. So, top team, good job. Well played, everybody. This is Yanaman signing off, and please give feedback. Uh, let me know what you liked, let me know what you didn't, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side.